Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining today's IC Real-Time webinar. In today's webinar, we will be discussing uh, our IC Real-Time Edge Line. Uh, Edge Line is a series of cameras that offer uh, really the most bang for, uh, for the buck in terms of raw power and versatility. Uh, it is kind of our uh, cost competitive line. Uh, this is meant to compete with your uh, Hikvision and LTS cameras uh, of the industry. Uh, this is a new uh, webinar, along with a few other new webinars that you'll be seeing soon uh, that talk about some of our other product lines. Uh, we just wanted to go ahead and make you familiar uh, with all of our different lines so you understand what the uh, efficacy is on each different line. So we'll be starting out here with the edge line. <clears throat> Now, this webinar is a little bit shorter than my typical webinar, so uh, please do be aware of that. Uh, other than that, uh, I have muted everyone's microphone at the moment, but I will unmute everyone's microphone at the end of the webinar to field any questions anyone might have. My name is Michael Cavallaro. I'm one of the national sales executives here at IC Real Time, and let's get started. So as I mentioned, we'll be talking about today is the edge line. <clears throat> so with over 20 years of experience with professional integrators uh, has taught us what works in the real world. Uh, IC Real Time offers a variety of product lines while still maintaining legendary video quality across the spectrum. Whether it's high-end installation that spares no expense or systems with budget limits and costs, uh, IC Real Time has the gear to fit them all. So there's four different lines when it comes to IC real time uh, in terms of cameras and recorders. Uh, the first we're gonna be talking about today is the edge line. Uh, we also have the max line uh, and the flex line, which we'll be talking about uh, next week. Uh, and then we have our elite line. Uh, now feature sets are slightly different here, uh, but again, uh, you have features and capabilities engineered to design for different priorities here, uh, capability to match, and, uh, mix and match, because uh, these camera lines really do all work together. Uh, you can have uh, one of our match line recorders or flex line recorders uh, and utilize IPEG cameras. Uh, so really, uh, with these different lines, we're able to meet a whole bunch of different price points uh, and budgets for our IC real time cameras. And now our dash line is fully compatible with all of these uh, product lines that you see here. So what is the edge line? Uh, again, like I mentioned, it is a budget consideration uh, and really it doesn't mean that it's inferior quality. Uh, so let's take a, uh, let, let's talk about that a little bit. The differences between the edge line and the uh, rest of our lines are going to be first and foremost uh, a seven year warranty as opposed to a 10 year warranty. Uh, so slight warranty difference there, uh, but still a leading warranty for this line. Now it also does not have any of the high end analytics that you can come to expect uh, from those max lines. Uh, flex lines and elite lines. Uh, this is still going to use your traditional motion detection, uh, but at these budget price points, uh, really, that's that's really what you're looking for here in that kind of IC real time camera and recorder. So, where can you use uh, our edge line cameras? Uh, most camera installations include locations with simple requirements, and they just need really just great video, uh, great resolution, and great playback. Uh, so small commercial and professional offices, uh, startups, uh, small retail stores, uh, small and mid-sized residential homes, uh, things like convenience stores, uh, small franchises, so like a boutique or fast food restaurant uh, or a gym. Uh, and then small budget projects as well. So these cameras can, you know, really for uh, any of your installs where they're on a budget, uh, they can't really afford more of the high-end feature sets. And really what they're just looking for is simple coverage uh, and specific coverage areas of interest. That's where you're gonna utilize this edge line. Now here's some of the edge capabilities that you can come to expect. So you're gonna have a high quality full HD video in both two megapixel and four megapixel. Uh, you're still gonna have a PoE capability uh, or local 12 volt power. Uh, you're still gonna have built-in audio. So many of the bullets uh, and the uh, eyeball or turret domes uh, do have built-in microphones as well. Uh, we do have verifocal options available, uh, long distance IR. Uh, they're still on with capable, uh, 
Uh, many of them are TAA compliant as again, we're moving uh, pretty much our product line over to our TAA uh, compliant line wholly manufactured in South Korea. These are going to be outdoor weather rated, and that's something that I really want to you guys to take home with this is uh, other than those uh, that seven year warranty uh, and that omission of the analytics uh, and the high end analytics I'm talking about, you still have your traditional motion detection. Uh, these are still vandal resistant. They're still the same housings uh, that you have in our other line. So it's not like uh, with this edge product line, you're going to get something uh, like a, you know, plastic housing. Uh, these are all full vandal proof housings, uh, stainless steel uh, with the powder, with the white powder coating. So you can really come to expect still quality uh, uh, capabilities here. Uh, many are still going to have starlight uh, functionality. Uh, they're still going to have uh, uh, your your high resolutions uh, and as same quality resolution uh, as our other line. So you know you, when you think about having a four megapixel or a two megapixel camera, uh, you can come to expect with that edge line uh, that it's going to be the same quality four megapixel resolution as our higher end cameras as well. Now we do have an edge recorder here. Uh, this is gonna be our eight channel recorder. And again, uh, this is gonna be for your typical uh, residential install or light commercial install where you're not really gonna see a high amount of cameras. Uh, so uh, we thought that eight megapixel uh, should be the, the de facto uh, res uh, channel count here uh, for that edge line. Uh, it is an extremely cost effective camera, uh, handles up to eight megapixel cameras. Now. Something to keep in mind here is uh, if you're going to utilize something like a uh, eight megapixel camera, uh, this doesn't have as much throughput as something like our higher end recorder. So where our FX and MX line, uh, where those are 128 megabits of throughput, uh, and then our higher end lines being uh, 384 megabits of throughput, uh, this is coming in with 80 megabits of throughput. What does that mean? That means that uh, you may need to make some adjustments uh, to things like uh, your frame rate. So, you know, running at 15 frames per second as opposed to 30 frames per second. Uh, now, when it comes to H.265, which is supported on this recorder, again, you want to pay attention to that throughput, uh, something that a lot of dealers uh, don't realize when it comes to H.265 compression is that that uh, that higher end compression requires much more from the processor uh, than if you were using H.264. Uh, so where, yeah, it's going to minimize your bandwidth, uh, the recorder has to encode uh, and decode that video once you're playing back footage or you're looking at live view. So I really recommend you stick to H.264, not only on the edge recorder, uh, but on MX and FX as well. Once you get into the higher end stuff like our uh, 6032, 6064, 8128, uh, that's where you're going to want to utilize H.265 because those are using uh, much, much higher end processing. Uh, you are going to get a, a, v, a VGA as well as an HDMI output. Uh, of, of HDMI 4K output as well. Uh, and the recorder does support uh, up to six terabytes of SATA storage. Uh, so again, really for, you know, uh, along with integrated POE as well. So really for, you know, your budget-minded consumers, uh, smaller uh, installs uh, where you're trying to maybe uh, meet a bid. And of course, this is going to be a lot more usable to you. Uh, many dealers that uh, that we know of uh, have used Hikvision and, and, and expect that kind of uh, that kind of budget cost. Uh, however, uh, as we all, we've all heard, uh, there's been quite a few, uh, quite a few issues with Hikvision. So uh, this is a great alternative solution uh, to get to somebody uh, that many of which are manufactured in South Korea and have that great seven year warranty in our IC real time products. So as you'll see here, uh, this is just a brief uh, demo of the edge line cameras in action here. Uh, and as you can see, resolution is very much the same. Uh, this is from our uh, one of our IPEG B uh, 40 Vs. So resolution is still going to be quality, uh, just like you can expect from any of our uh, high-end IC real-time recorders. And also, you're going to have quality at nighttime with IRs as well.
So these are gonna, again, these are gonna be the different lines that we're gonna be talking about uh, when it comes to uh, IC real time hardware. Uh, again, edge line, just simple, inexpensive, uh, capable uh, cameras and recorders, our uh, MX line, which includes things like wide angle lenses, uh, our FlexSmart IR, uh, and then our FX line with uh, many of their focal lens uh, cameras, along with, still with our FlexSmart uh, AI, which includes our IMD, which uh, many of you have seen it in my new technology webinar, uh, your perimeter protection, uh, and then EL being uh, the best of the best uh, with your full suite of IRs, including not just uh, your analytics like IMD, uh, your analytics like uh, perimeter protection, but then further analytics like people counting uh, as well as heat mapping. Uh, so now what I'll do is I'll field any questions anyone might have. I do ask that if you have any questions, you go to the top of your Zoom meeting uh, and you go to the Q&A tab uh, and you can drop any of your questions that you have there and I'll be more than happy to answer those questions. And Daryl, if you like, uh, I know you have your hand raised there. Uh, if you like, go ahead and drop your question uh, into the Q&A tab. Uh, and again, I'll be more than happy to answer that. Oh, no problem there. All right. Well, it looks like no one else has any questions at this time. Well, thank you very much. Uh, looks like we have a couple of questions coming in now. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Carolina, is the data sheets for Edge on the website? Yes, it is. Uh, if you go to icrealtime.com and you go to store, uh, and then under store, you have series, and you'll see that edge line, and you can uh, see all of those cameras in that edge line uh, and grab cut sheets for those cameras as well. Uh, Stanley, is the edge line TSA compliant? Uh, the edge line does have a few SKUs that are TSA compliant. Uh, they will be indicated on the description for each camera and recorder. Uh, and again, as I mentioned, we're moving uh, more and more cameras from the edge line as well as our other lines uh, to our TAA compliant line every month. Uh, Frank, uh, for specs and prices on the edge line, uh, you can find specs on the spec sheet uh, for these individual cameras. Uh, like I told Carolina, you're going to find those uh, on the uh, on the series in the store and then edge. Uh, and then you can select the individual cameras and you can find the spec sheets. Uh, and where it comes to pricing, uh, reach, go ahead and reach out. Uh, to your uh, national sales executive uh, that will get you information, get you the latest price sheet. Uh, and if you haven't already, uh, you may want to sign up or reach out to your national sales executive uh, for access to the dealer portal uh, where you can see full pricing for all of our IC real-time cameras uh, and then order those cameras at your leisure. Uh, it's a full online store uh, just for you guys. Randy, uh, I can, absolutely. Uh, so when it comes to AC, AC64 or AC65, uh, AC65 is a lower, uh, AC64 is a lower level of uh, compression uh, than AC65. Uh, with it, because AC65 is the newest uh, compression out in the industry. Uh, now with AC64, as it's a lower level of compression, the requirements from the processor to enable that compression 
which minimizes, of, of course, then your bit rate, uh, your bandwidth consumption, hard drive consumption, uh, is, is there's less requirements from the actual processor on the board of these recorders. Uh, so with that, uh, it's going to, you know, utilize less of that processing power and leave more of that processing power uh, for the encoding and decoding of the video for live view and playback. As you go up to H.265, the requirements from the processor are much higher than H.264. So if you don't have a good processor, though, yes, you are uh, minimizing your bandwidth impacting and uh, your bandwidth consumption and hard drive consumption more than H.264, but you're taking more of the processing power from the recorder to do that. So that's why I, I usually recommend on lower throughput uh, uh, recorders like the edge line recorder, like the MX-08 uh, and 16, like the FX-08 and 16, that you utilize H.264. And then when you're using a higher end recorder or a higher end throughput recorder, uh, like you're going to see with our 24 channel recorder, which will be coming soon, uh, like you see with our 6016, 6064, 6032, uh, 8128, uh, those have higher end processors uh, that permit you to utilize those H.265 compression uh, much more than, than the mid-range or lower end uh, recorders. Uh, Kevin, sorry if I covered uh, if you covered this already. Are any of your systems NDAA compliant? Uh, so when it comes to NDAA compliant, we don't make any claims as of yet to NDAA, uh, but they are any of our uh, cameras that come out of our South Korean manufacturer are fully TA compliant. Uh, NDAA is a is not a certification, so um, we're a bit hesitant to claim NDAA like a lot of money a lot of manufacturers are doing. However, I will tell you at, because they uh, the cameras and recorders are TA compliant, they really already qualify as NDA compliant as we're not using any of the banned uh, uh, technology. So uh, Huawei chipsets, you will not find Huawei chipsets in any of our TA compliant cameras. Uh, you will not find any of uh, Dabo or Hikvision uh, cameras, uh, uh, hardware in our recorders. Uh, everything is uh, wholly manufactured in South Korea. Um, so that's kind of where we are right now. Uh, we're still in the process of, of moving everything over. And then, you know, we'll start to open up as an NDA compliant uh, manufacturer or use that terminology. Uh, but currently, uh, we, you know, to uh, acquire TA compliancy, uh, nothing can be manufactured in any banned country. That includes China, of course. Uh, so everything that's coming out of our uh, TA line uh, is fully manufactured in Korea uh, using non-banned uh, hardware, either chipsets or any uh, boards uh, or technology coming from any uh, Chinese source. Uh, Jar, great question. Uh, is the line compatible uh, with third party control system like Elon or RTI? Uh, they do still support. Uh, not, not only on VIF, but uh, uh, RT, uh, RTSP uh, strings as well. Um, we tend not to claim uh, that these are uh, compliant with, uh, with control systems, um, just because, you know, they are, uh, they're not as much, they, there's not as much throughput, uh, there's not as much uh, processing power, uh, which that helps us uh, bring the cost down as our higher end line. Uh, so we really recommend uh, that you utilize uh, some of the MX line and the EL line uh, when it comes to uh, when it comes to um, uh, integration with control systems. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind there. Now, however, I will tell you that uh, as a sales executive, I do have dealers that utilize these on third party control systems because they have uh, they will respond to commands just like any other camera. It's just a recommended uh, recommendation we make to, you know, if you usually, usually if you're using a control system, a uh, third party control system with RTI, Elan, Crestron, Control 4, uh, Savant, uh, that you use that higher end line. So that way you can really offer that end user uh, the full capabilities of our IC real time cameras. 
Uh, less, yes, every, uh, inventory level uh, do look good. Uh, like I mentioned, and less we talk all the time, um, we really do not have too much issues when it comes uh, to stocking hardware. Uh, we have plenty of cameras and recorders in stock. Uh, we're upgrading that inventory every day. Uh, so that's really something that we have that uh, many of our competitors we've seen in the industry do not have is uh, plenty of stock uh, for these cameras at this moment. All right. Well, it looks like no one else has any questions at this time. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for joining us on today's IC Real Time webinar. My name is Michael Caballero. I'm one of the national sales executives here at IC Real Time. Have a fantastic day and stay safe.